Hello, good day. Welcome to our new lesson of the research 2 for grade 8. So last time we had our discussion, last video I, I've shown you the research process uh, from uh, the research process specifically identify the problem review the literature part of the research process and so with the uh, identify data collect data or the methods so okay so let's continue so last time we had our topics here discussions we were on this portion here Slide number forty thirty five. Let's just go directly there. Maybe a few review of the previous few slides. Okay, so we have here. This is the last discussion we were on the methods research methods and methodology so we have here and so uh, let's just take note that uh, in uh, research methodology or methods uh, in the IMRAD format it's uh, the uh, let's just review the IMRAD IMRAD is I-M-R-A-D which stands for introduction met methodology or methods results and discussion that's read okay and c imrad c conclusions so in the imrad format we are on the m m methodology part but in the research process we are on the collecting data and analyzing data uh, part okay. Uh, okay. Analyzing data. So, so let's just go back here for a few uh, uh, review of the previous topics. Designing appropriate research methodology. So, so what what are included in this uh, process of the research uh, are the following: context and procedures of the research investigation. When we say context, uh, what's the situation or what's What's the current uh, status of your research? No. Procedures of the research or investigation. This, these are the uh, methods, and uh, uh, it includes collection of data. How do you collect the data? How do you treat the data? Uh, and how you, you have came up with the data? And next we have the research design. Okay, ra dilim siya mga kwan. Naka naka kwan ko naka uh, naka head set or head headset phone. I don't, I don't know. Headset or head. Okay, let's go back here. Next we have the research design. Uh, sorry class, that's uh my colleagues are discussing important matters also. So Again, let's go back. There, these are the activities included in the research methodology. S second is the research design. Okay, so the research design uh, shows you or uh, shows you the the research design. No, how how you're going to separate the samples or this respondents into their groups how do how do you treat the the treatment of the data or the the, the samples the the respondents okay next we have the sample and subjects of the study of course in the research methodology you should you should have mentioned there or written what are your samples? What are your subjects? How do you obtain them? How do you uh, came up with the sample subjects? 
then we have instruments needed to collect the data okay so materials maybe materials of course no materials equipments are included here procedures for the data collection of course uh, uh, how did you came up with your uh, data no so you should have state that and sub, uh, you should have you should also uh, done some uh, related uh, searches on that on literatures of uh, particular uh, specific or particular procedures that are applicable for you for your data collection depending on uh, what kind of uh, say problem you have your procedure will depend on that no? okay, next tools and procedures for data analysis this re refers to statistical tools and uh, treatments for your data okay analysis like t-test like that uh, okay. and other mean averages or things like that okay so those are the 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 general overview of research methodology let's go to uh, what where we have left off last yes, time let's just stress this one no? the key task in developing your met methodology and methods of investigation is to define the aims and objectives of your project uh, I will I, I would like to uh, take off my video camera capture because uh, it's uh, laggy let's continue you must fully understand the research problem articulate the questions clearly and be realistic about data requirements and ask for what is really relevant okay so these are your uh, guide in uh, formulating your methodology uh, and we have also another uh, guide questions here towards uh, making your research methods or methodology methods so uh, for example we have here what is the research question that I want to answer okay so of course you have to ask yourself or your group in that case what is the problem that I want to solve? What is the dilemma or tension I want to resolve? And what is the gap that I want to fill? So uh, these uh, questions here should be reflected in uh, how you formulate your research methodology. Okay. Next. What is the overall aim of my research? Okay, again, your methods portion is anchored to your uh, in uh, in, in uh, depending on uh, on on your uh, category. No, if it is RIM and uh, gadgets, so we we have that as your your engineering goal that in uh, life science or uh, other related uh, categories you have your uh, research problem yeah. okay so a study may be basic contributing to a body of knowledge or it may be applied like uh, results may be put to some specific use so th those are the things that, that I mentioned. Uh, so if it is uh, descriptive uh, scientific research, so that is uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, you can anchor your methodology uh, to your to your research problem. If it is applied or uh, say gadgets, innovations. Uh, robotics and intelligent machines you anchor your methodology to your engineering goal okay next within my overall aims what are my objectives of course the 
your uh, research problem is a general uh, statement if it is in life science your research goal also is a general statement if it is in robotics and intelligent machines or uh, physical science innovations and uh, you have to break it down to me measurable attainable objectives uh, which is also aligned to your uh, research goal or research problem and that should be also reflected in the methodology so that there will be a seamless alignment of your 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 procedures and methods your design to your research problem or engineering goal next so for example oh, okay so you have here for example uh, there are there uh, these are areas themes or relationships that you you have to, you need to study it to investigate okay so you when you say to investigate what is the proper design proper method and procedures if you are to investigate if you're if you're you are to, in, to investigate something of uh, I mean if your research project involves investigations explore okay evaluate determine quantify assess so again your uh, methodology will depend on this uh, particular statement in your uh, in your stated in your research problem or engineering goal o of course that's the previous uh, uh, parts of the research process next searching uh, the literature for your methods and designs or methodology you no know, research method methodology okay so what is the uh, purpose of uh, literature search for your methods and uh, is that uh, it provides you with a broad understanding and background of the study of course uh, again your research is uh, may may have uh, some other related researches in the internet in the journals magazines so that may somehow uh, a source of uh, information that uh, you can use in your con in the context of your research like the, the methods used in uh, related study of, of your research project you can uh, mm, use it and then uh, if it's applicable or if it's not you not really as uh, applicable uh, but it's related you can use it and uh, with modifications to fit in the context of your project then we have to gain insight into previous research of course huh? and uh, put the research into context this is what i'm um, i'm telling you that uh, you have your uh, you have uh, found uh, a, a literate uh, related study or methods of your of your study in uh, in your searches so uh, how is it apply how is it ap applicable to to the situation or to the context when you say context situation of your own project why okay, do not just uh, grab those literature searches without uh, putting it into the level of your study okay like that next literature search helps you to know where the gaps are okay so uh we say gaps uh, what are the things you need to look at that is applicable to your study what the, the themes and issues are likely to be of course uh, because you have uh, done your searches you know where the uh, your your uh, as a researcher you should have you should know the the limits and the issues of uh, your study upon uh, searching of other related study you know? okay you should have somehow uh, envisioned that already that, that there are certain things that I need to look at 
uh, in uh, in the pr in my procedures and my methodology uh, that uh, that you have uh, learned from your searches uh, somewhere else. Of course, those are uh, uh, valid sources for literature searches. No? Okay, and uh, of course, uh, helps you to know what to ask. Okay, so in research pro in research in science in uh, science investigatory project so it's important that that you know uh, the the right question to ask okay mm, it's it's a uh, fundamental uh, to re to a research project because later on if it's the right question you will uh, have the right procedures and methods also and what might be significant now of course you have filtered already that these uh, materials here are not needed in my study these materials here are needed in my study this procedure fits my study this is not and this is the significance of my study you have also done that now. next what research approach is appropriate so uh, so uh, depending on uh, your statement or your uh, your st your approach no okay so let's have this one uh, am i testing a hypothesis okay so if it is a hypothesis that you are testing of course you base your approach to how you are going to test your hypothesis if you are testing a gadget or uh, innovation you base your uh, procedures methods into how you are going to to test a project you can use a modified waterfall method or waterfall method things like that if it's gadget or or uh, uh, devices or innovations physical science but not all physical science are it, it involves gadgets depending on the a type of uh, problem research problem or research goal no? uh, engineering goal or research goal deductive approach can be inductive approach can also be an approach to your research quantitative and versus qualitative so or both or mixed no mix no? can also be an approach to your research uh, to your research no? So what is this uh, deductive approach? No? So it implies the testing of hypothesis. Start with an idea or hypothesis. Let's just uh, show my face for y for your uh, consumption. I start with an idea or hypothesis and see if data supports or disproves it. Okay, so deductive. For example, let's say your uh, hypothesis is... Uh, just for the sake of an uh, example, no? uh, say for example, mm, uh, I will not mention extract alang for one. This uh, uh, ex extract is effective ag against uh, x a uh, y disease. Yeah, for example. So deductive, which means uh, you have your uh, initial hypothesis there that the extract is effective against this disease, and then see if your if the data you came up supports your uh, hypothesis. Okay, next, inductive approach. Inductive permits the data to determine the key concepts to be discussed. Conclusions are drawn from the empirical data. Start with a question or problem statement see what the conclusion can be drawn from the data okay so for example uh, let's just say uh, an increase an increase an increase in x a amount of this uh, an increase of the amount of x extract will uh, decrease the the amount of the y 
extract, for example, a Y uh, amount of the Y substance or say Y disease or Y whatever, no, whatever Y variable is that. The point is uh, the increase of this ex extract or this amount of uh, substance will decrease. Uh, so that is your uh, statement. And then uh, see if the your statement is, uh, I mean your hypothesis or initial uh, res question, problem statement is, uh, see the see the data to from from the conclusions if it is correct or uh, if it is if it it's aligned with your hypothesis, no. So again from from the statement and see the data no? from specific statement to the general data okay so the, the other one is the from the general statement to specific data no? that's the deductive inductive approach next materials and methods uh, we have mentioned here also uh, quanti quanti quantitative versus qualitative so uh, yeah, the, your your methods and uh, procedures may involve only quantitative uh, data. May also, uh, or oh, it can also be uh, on involve only qualitative data or both. No? That can be a uh, source of. I mean, that can be reflected in your uh, methods methodology. No? So. For example, if you want to study uh, increase in growth, things like that, or zone of inhibition, so that's uh, that's quantitative data. So, so for example, if you want to, uh, if it involves qualitative da data, so uh, appearance of uh, uh, color changes of uh, of a certain uh, uh, date of a certain uh, specimens or data, qualitative data, you know, color changes, appearance, things like that. Okay. Or it can be both quantitative and qualitative data uh, included in the methods. Okay. Next, materials and methods. Continue. No? Let's continue. So, uh, Materials and methods is still part of the methodology. No? This uh, this section involves the detailed description of how your research was conducted. Okay, so the research procedures and methods. Yeah, and it includes the following. Uh, this is to sum up no, the methodology. No? Of course, you have uh, already mentioned this one: research design. So this is how you treat uh, the treatment of the samples. How are you going to assign them into groups? How are you going to design the experimentation? So this is where research design is. Then research lo locale is uh, uh, the context of research where it is conducted and um, things like that. Uh, research subjects, these are your samples or your independent dependent variables and research instrument and uh, respondents uh, research instruments instruments those are materials and equipments used sampling procedure how did you uh, came up with sample statistical treatment sampling proce procedure and uh, yeah how do you came up with the sample and the process involved there statistical tr treatment how are the data after the experiment are treated how do you came up with your Data, uh, it, may, it, it involves uh, maybe a statistical test like t-test, averages, mean, or even ANOVA. Research procedures, securing permission. Of course, this is the procedures or as to the conduct of, 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 this, uh, of this mentioned here in the research methodology. Okay? So, in the materials and methods, or uh, methods, no. So in 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 IMRAD C format, this is this these are just methods, no. This section answers the two main questions: 
how was the data collected or generated so again uh, as to the procedures of your experiment this, uh, this is where and uh, the collection of the samples of your respondents and things like that no? and how was it analyzed so what is used in the uh, in the generate generating data uh, I mean how what is used in the treatment of the data like uh, use of averages mean use of t-test or use of ANOVA as to, as to uh, analysis of your data no? so in general methods involves uh, it shows how you obtain your results okay Oh yeah, it's okay. So that's the end of the research process, guys. So uh, if you have uh, questions, clarifications, just comment in our GCs, or uh, you can directly PM me in my messenger. So uh, by now, if you you are ready to uh, answer the questions in our LMS, if not, just go back to this video and then review our discussions of things that you have uh, missed or uh, do not uh, does not understand and if i have uh, topics that I have not yet uh, discussed during this pre this video or presentation uh, just comment in our gcs or pm me in the messenger that's it guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video